edition of this month's experiment from the Nearman Challenger Center at the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center. My name is Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Brandon Elliott. So today for this experiment, we're going to be doing something called plant chromatography. Yay! I'm going to let you know... I'm going to let you know exactly what you need for this experiment, but just remember you can find all of the details, instructions, and ingredients you'll need for this on our website, www.rhfleet.org. All right, let's take a look at this here. What you're going to need is... A plant. Oh, here we go. A jar. <laughs> or a small, like, baby food bottle will work perfectly We're for that. We're using a water bottle, though. Water bottles work fine. You're going to need some... Isopropyl alcohol. We mm -hmm. have 70%, but... Yeah. You can I, use 91 if you right. prefer. This is rubbing alcohol for, for all of you who might recognize it as that. Um, we also need some paper coffee filters. These are the kinds of things that you have that you make coffee in your coffee maker at home. Um, and a plastic knife or a spoon, but for today's purposes, we're going to be using one of these really cool wooden swizzle stick things. Great. Right. So I got these plants out of my backyard, and I want to see what color is really in this orangish pink plant. Don't you wonder? What color is it really? Not orange and pink? We're gonna find out. Okay, all right. All right, so you're gonna actually uh, chop up or just tear up your plant in fine pieces, put it in your jar. You're gonna wanna do a lot more than that. But to save time, I'm gonna move on to the alcohol. You're gonna pour the alcohol in so that it covers the plant. And then you're gonna actually try to mash it up a little bit more with your knife or we are using a coffee stirrer. And you're gonna wanna do this for about 15 minutes. Chopping and stirring, chopping and stirring. All right, then to expedite the process, you're gonna put it in a shallow basin of warm water. Uh, make sure you grab a parent or adult for this. A responsible person. Or a responsible person. All right, so I'm gonna put mine in. Let's say it's about five minutes later. Mm -hmm. All right, take it back out. Um, basically, we wanna get the color into the alcohol as much as possible, so the darker the better. Um, I would wait longer for mine. This has been sitting out for about a day, actually. And you can see that it's nice and pink. It's nice. Looks more pink than orange at this point, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But to really find out what's going on, what color is in my flower, you're going to use this coffee filter, put it in the jar, and what's going to happen is the alcohol is going to actually, or the colored alcohol at this point, is going to travel up your coffee filter so you can actually see what is in the flower. Right. So again, this process is called something like chromatography um, and basically what that means is that as the alcohol is moving up the paper as it's getting absorbed up into the paper it's carrying those pigment molecules along with it the bigger the pigment molecule is the slower it's actually going to travel up and the smaller the pigment molecule is the faster it's going to travel up so basically what happens is you get this spectrum of colors on the paper and when you do this for uh, some amount of time you'll be able to see that these colors sort of stratize and get themselves separated so you can see what colors are actually in that pigment. So you'll see a nice band of red or orange or pink and you'll just have this lovely little paper here that tells you all the colors, all the pigments that are actually in that flower. So with something like this, we've got a nice red one here. Um, on the back side here, this is the same this is the same kind of flower, but imagine these were two different colored flowers. You could try different rose petals. We talked about some fruits or vegetables, these kinds of things, um, and just test them out and see what kind of colors, what kind of pigments actually Anything make up. Anything in nature, actually, would exactly. be really nice to test. Exactly, exactly. So, so there it is, chromatography. All right, thanks, Brandon, for your wonderful explanation, and thank you, viewers at home, for watching. Tune in for next month's experiment, and remember, do try, try this at home. home.